Hi everyone. Today's video will show you how to navigate throughout Xero. Um, and we'll also briefly touch on a few of the features that is available. So this video will be great for those of you who may have never used the Xero program before. So um, the first thing we want to start with is something everyone has to do when they set up their Xero account is choose an authenticate app. So for security reasons, Xero uses a two-step authentication process. So that can be done either through the Xero Verify app or you might have your own authenticator app already on your phone, such as a Microsoft one um, or Google one, so forth. So we're gonna go through just for today's example if we were using our own application. So we're gonna click use my own app and it's gonna pull up this QR code. So then we're gonna get our phones and we're gonna show you how to sync this two-step authenticator app to your Xero account. Okay, so now I'm on my phone. I've already downloaded the Authenticator app I wanna use, which I'll, I'll highlight red here. But you can download whichever one you um, feel is best. They're all free on the App Store or Play Store. So once you've done that, we're gonna click into it. I'm gonna click Get Started. And I'm gonna click on the camera that says Scan a QR Code. So I'm gonna click on that and get close to my screen. And it's as easy as that. It picks it up. Automatically, it adds in there my zero account and you can see that six digit code and the blue wheel turning next to it is the time it will take to expire. So every couple seconds, that code actually expires and you get a fresh one. You can see it's coming up red because it's about to leave. And there's a brand new code. So very secure. So that's the first thing we want to do when we're setting up zero. Um, let's go back over to our computers now. Okay, so now that we've set up our two-step authenticator app, um, we'll be let into Xero, and it'll automatically log you into the dashboard, which you can see up here. And this is what the dashboard looks like. So from a quick glance, you can see um, your business bank account, if you need to reconcile any items, savings account, invoices owed to you, etc. If we move along the top here, we go into the business tab. So this is all money coming in and money going out. So you've got cash flow, invoices, quotes, bills to pay, purchase orders, expense claims, and also your products and services. So this is um, for any items you buy or sell regularly, you'd wanna load them into here um, so that they're ready to be invoiced. So we go over to the accounting tab. This is where you can view all your bank accounts um, and link them to zero and where you can get any reports. Over to payroll, this is for all your staff, your employees, you can pay your employees if they've got put in leave forms, their timesheets, where you'd approve superannuation. Um, projects, you can add if you like, if you're ever working on a special project, you can put this in. Um, then staff can start adding timesheets directly to it and you can invoice directly to a specific project. And lastly, we've got your contacts. So these are all your customers and suppliers. So if we go over to this side of the screen, over to the top right hand side, you can see we can edit the dashboard from here. So you can show and hide certain accounts. You can also, if you hover over these six dots, you can move and rearrange your screen. This is your create new shortcut. So from here, you can create a new invoice, bill, contact, etc., just in two clicks. Your search feature. So you can type anything in here from a name, um, a business name, a phone number, an address, if you've got it in there, and it'll search anything in your database that has something in common with those keywords you're putting in. So it's a great tool. Here's your notification center. Here's your help center. So if you ever have some um, questions or you need help, you can go through recommended tab. Um, you can also, of course, ask us. And over here, this is where you'd sync your connected apps. So say Dext, Square, Deputy Unleashed, etc. And the last one over here is your profile. So you can edit your profile, such as your name or if your email address has changed, or you can go into your account settings. Now account settings is also where you would set up your two-step authenticator app if that ever changes. For example, if you lost your phone or got a new phone and you need to set up the two-step again, that would be done in your account. And you can, of course, log out. But that's everything. That, in a quick glance, is how you navigate through Zero. 
So hopefully this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.